Um, hello, everybody. Welcome to Tripod. This is the November 16th, 2019 episode. Uh, I am your host, Adrian, and with me today are our EU neighbors going down the list on Discord. Hello. <laughs> I'm, I'm Andy or Glowtide or Unto Dust or fucking whatever else I am. Hello. What is up, guys? I am Ben. Thank you for having me. I'm Jacob. It's like noon around here. I am. Oh, Kate. wait, Jacob. It's noon? Yeah, I'm American. I was so wrong. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> Go ahead, Kit. I'm sorry. I am Kit, and I am definitely in the EU, and it is not 10 a.m. Right. He's he's uh, he's going to bed in an hour. This this is the, that's the normal time EU tripod. To to bed. <laughs> <laughs> we had two out of what would have been three. I think that's okay. yeah, that's fine. No. It wasn't going to be two out of three. It was going to be, <laughs> two. it was still going to be two because it would have been Babs and Dan, not Babs and Glowtide and Dan. Oh, well. It's more than zero EU and that's what counts. It's true. It's more friendly for the EU people and that's what counts. It is? Oh, goodness. Yay. Anyways, let's just uh, kind of just start. Okay, Josh, quit complaining. <laughs> this <laughs> this episode brought to you by Josh being angry in a text or voice channel. Goodness the video gracious. should just end with it showing all of the text for voice channel that has went on during this whole tripod. It's possible. Um, <laughs> so let's go ahead and just start the first section. Uh, let's do a what's going on in tripod. Uh, anybody want to talk about, you know... So I'm... Um, <laughs> I guess I should go back over my source. So I'm very unclear about what should go into this section because in previous episodes, I've let you guys talk about your own releases. And then in other episodes, I haven't let you guys talk about that. So with that being said, uh, let's do a, what's going on in tripod, Troy pulse. Um, I guess starting with canvas is out. Canvas merch is ready to be ordered. Go and buy it. Kit, do you have anything else to add to that? Because I actually don't have anything to add to that. <laughs> no, not really. When does it end? Yes, uh, end January, of January. January 1st? The end of January? On. It's either the beginning or the end of January. Not this year. Oh. Go, and, <laughs> go and buy everything by January. There you go. <laughs> i got a long sleeve on right now. Though. Buy it as a New Year's gift for yourself. Yes. Support charity. Um, if you're too broke, just have people get it for you for Christmas. It does support charity. It supports uh, Note for Notes. Is that right? Yes. It is? Ah, nice. Good charity. I like it. Um, I'm going to do one more giveaway this year, probably during Tripalooza. Uh, so be on the lookout for that. I actually finally bought my own merch. Ooh. Ooh. I really the wanted to buy Kit's album, but the shipping cost more than the album itself. So yeah, I it's kind of wild. I'm sorry I didn't. Speaking of Kit's album and merch, Kit, does it, it technically out. does it technically count as you buying your own merch since you bought your entire stock of CDs to be able to send to people who buy it? Does it count if does it count as a store buying its own products when it buys the products to put on the shelf? I don't know. Does it? That's that's the question I'm asking you. Too bad. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, anything else going on in tripod? Tri God damn it! <laughs> Tripaloozy. Tri tripuls. I'm I'm saving tripuls. Anything else going on in try hard? Try try yeah the try harder. Um. Yeah. Any any projects that you guys are thinking about for tripuls in general? Not technically your music, but just like you know anything. I don't uh, have anything going on, but. That's... I have some insider scoop. You... Ooh, you do. Yes. Someone is currently working on writing an album review for the blog. Yeah. Ooh. At least two somebuns if we know two different people, which I don't think we do. Maybe. 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 We'll we'll, we'll see. Um so I guess I'll talk about 
Tripulse projects going on, since there was quite a few that I announced in the week of Everyone Pings um, about a week ago. Yeah, you need to stop that, by the way. <laughs> I I did. Forever. No. Never again. No. All right, what's going on? <laughs> hey, um, so I'm putting together a little compilation thing of uh, basically vlogs or, you know, little clips of daily daily, daily lives um, in our Tripulse community. Uh, it's just going to be like a day in the life of Tripulse or something like that. And uh, basically, you just, you know, record whatever you find interesting, whatever you think might be interesting. Um, someone's mowing their yard outside. That's cool. And um, yeah, just record whatever you find interesting, whether it's, you know, you at your job, you making music at home, cooking food, whatever. Um, just make a simple recording of it, send it to me. Um, through some kind of means, Mega, Dropbox, Firefox, Send, just whatever. And I'm going to cut them into a compilation and hopefully release it on the start of the year, next year. Yeah, we, we have another for, for everyone. <clears throat> yeah, like. it's, it's open for everyone. Anybody can contribute to it, and uh, it'll be on the YouTube channel for everybody to watch. Perfect. Oh. Nice so. idea. And uh, getting a mobile recording of him sticking some fucking sauce on some beets. I guess. In the f oh, in the fucking stew. I guess. Okay. That's... Mm, I don't like that. And by studio... It's going to be a good video. Josh means... If it goes well. His bedroom. It will be a good video if it goes well. It's probably not going to go well because I'm learning a new editing program, so... Yeah. You just like do a how to basic and throw sauce everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Be great. Just over the headphones and the computer. Mm -hmm. Straight uh, into the microphone. Oh, hey, yeah. speaking of learning a new editing software, I'm sitting down and learning uh, Hit Film Express. Right? That's what it's called? That's the one. Okay. Hit Film Express. <coughs> um, I was kind of unclear about this when I announced it in, the, in Meta. So. I'm going to try doing this again right now and probably not do it very well, but I'm going to do it anyways. I'm trying to learn hit film express. I want to kind of push like our entire community to more or less learn how to edit videos as a group together. And we could have like sit downs and meet up and talk about, you know, learning this program in the general chat. Every once in a while we can record ourselves working around with stuff like that. We can, edit down previous game nights and make highlights and upload them to YouTube. But the basic idea of this is to sit down, learn this program, get moderately proficient with this editing software, and hopefully in the future make more content to go on the YouTube channel because right now I think that is the weakest link in our kind of YouTube content is that nobody's really available or able to edit any videos for us. With the added benefit of everybody who learns being able to make their own stuff if they want, much easier. Just, yeah, that's, that's also a very, very good point. Um, I'm going to be honest, I've forgotten some of the things I announced. <laughs> good job. It's too many things. You're telling me at everyone didn't work? Uh, there there was a lot of things. I'm going to be completely honest with you. There was a lot of things. Um, I don't think I talked about cooking with triples. And we're not going to talk about it because there's not a reason to talk about it right now. A year uh, in the planning. A year I've heard in about the it every tripod so far. So. You've heard about it every tripod, yes. yeah. <laughs> oh, was this from last year's tripalooza? It, oh, you know what? Okay, we did technically have at least one cooking mm. with triples. That I would not count in what we're planning it was the test run it was sure the, the pre-alpha version <laughs> and the the oh, not so great stream version i yes. remember like i i can't believe when was tripalooza last year was it actually on the last december 27th december 27th like i went out with some friends one evening i remember waking up and like tuning into the stream just to adrian were, were you making burritos or something like that i was making breakfast tacos yeah yeah I was just like, oh, no, I'm hungry. Why do you do this? <laughs> ASMR channel. 
<laughs> I've okay. Breaking away from tribal social fest, I've briefly thought about making an ASMR channel based around cooking. Oh, no. Isn't there already like a few of those? There's a few of them, yeah. That's why I didn't make it. Anyways, <laughs> um, that's all I'm gonna. Oh, you know what? No, there is one more thing that I want to put in this section. Let me just bring up this folder real quick. ASMR man burns his hands on cooking oil. <laughs> Yum. Wasn't there was a there was a video like that at one point in time where they were like in the kitchen and the dude like throws his fucking whatever he's been cooking onto another person and burns the shit out of them. And I don't know. I don't. I'll have to go find that. That was that was funny. Sounds like a yeah. It's a Canadian <laughs> work safety commercial that played out a bit like that. Well, it might be that. It, it could very well be that. Anyways, guys. Um. So. Last tripod, I talked about something that uh, was not super well received, but um, maybe by posting this picture, it'll be a little bit more well received. And it is uh, the Tripulse Hydration Delivery Service. Uh, it's a collaboration between myself, Break Chains, and uh, the Tripulse community. It's a t-shirt design. And uh, mm -hmm. yeah, it's 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 just a T-shirt design. It says Tripulse Hydration Delivery Service. Every shirt is going to basically have a small part of the profit. Not even really a small part, a pretty large part of the profit. Um, go towards the uh, charity water. And uh, yeah, it's cool. It's coming next year. I thought I was going to do it in January of next year, but if the canvas thing ends in at the end of January next year, then uh, it's going to be after that. Because I don't want I don't want the sales and and pre order times to like overlap and mess with each other on those two things. So, yeah, be on That's the lookout cool for that. Hell. Yep. And this artwork is done by uh, Nathaniel Rueda. He is a designer from South America. I want to say Brazil, but I'm not 100 percent sure. His artist name is Mute uh, Illustration. And this is his website if you guys want to check him out. He did some artwork for me last year too. Really, really cool guy. Really awesome artwork. And uh, yeah, just be on the lookout for that next year. MuteIllustration.com MuteIllustration.com Oh, I think I'm going to be posting a link to that. HTTPS MuteIllustration.com you gotta, you gotta read these things. Read. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I guess that's not a good thing to put in, the, in a podcast, an audio podcast, is it? Yeah, there's also that whole picture that nobody can see except us. Yeah, well, I mean, I, I got a video recording. <laughs> of we can Discord. describe it. <laughs> okay, look, I'm not good at these things, all right? I'm a very visual person, and I'm not used to podcasts being only audio. I'm used to podcasts being like videos that I watch, so my bad. <laughs> uh, I think that ends the what's going on in Tripulse section, unless somebody has something to add. Uh, I mean, I still want to run an RPG night. God, some I would, point. I would like to as well, but it's uh one day. Get it, <laughs> get people together. It's a big, big nightmare. It's it is. It really is, especially with you know like the amount of different people and different locations we have in mm -hmm. the server. The, that plan point. will never oh, yeah. be off the table. But it I might, want it to happen. I really do. <laughs> it's just that might take a while. Just, we yeah. have like we have like seventy five members, honestly. So yeah, but I mean, like considering that Glow Tide, you know, it's almost six in the evening, or no, it is six in the evening mm. for him, you know. But it's twelve for us. It's it's hard to plan stuff like that, just time wise. And ten for me. Yeah. Finding yeah, it's finding you know, people to so, be. Yeah. <laughs> All the it's time, fixed time for Europeans. Us. It, mm, I can only move time forward. Damn. at one second per second so <laughs> you're experiencing that right now as we every speak. 60 seconds i'm in doing Africa, my job a minute passes i'm doing my job as accurately as possible you're doing it very well <laughs> i know i'm good at it anyways let's uh let's move on to uh some some music shit let's move on to talking about uh let's talk about one tola's album want to hear music stuff i'm Personal, gonna nah, i'm gonna I'm cut gonna, right in real fast Guess what happened? What happened? Josh is very angry. <laughs> Who could have guessed? The end. 
<laughs> he released a single, and he's very mad that Ashlyn stole the Halloween release spot from him. And that's all you get. Hey, everybody. Uh, Josh has a, 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 a two-song a two song EP. Is that what we're going to call it's it? It's a single. It's, <laughs> it's a single. It's a toy goal. It's a single with a B-side. We're going to talk about this again. Uh, it's out on SoundCloud. You can just go look up the fucks, and you'll surely find it. And, uh, yeah, that's that's all we'll say about that. And Ashley, hey, look, one of the the four space. tracks. You can find that too. See, you post that, but again, not only are you muted, you, you, nobody can see that in what is the end product of this podcast. So Josh just posted a link to his SoundCloud in the Discord. Mm. <laughs> if you join the Tripulse Discord server and head to the text to voice channel and scroll all the way back to the uh, the sixteenth of November, twenty nineteen, at six thirteen, you'll be able to. Look hey, at the message. Hey, Josh. So, I am video recording. That doesn't mean that the video recording that I make is what ends up on YouTube. And much more so, Spotify. Are we just going to talk about Josh? <laughs> we'll be fun. <laughs> this whole episode New is title is just, just about Josh. Josh rules tripoles without Josh being tries, on it. Josh tries to be on tripod and on tripod. Tri mm. Okay, we're just going to not do that. <laughs> he tries his best. I try my best. I really do. Uh, let's talk about Wontola's EP. Yes. Um, aesthetic Violence. Oh boy. Okay. I just want to say, uh, to start off, I actually was trying really hard to not pick somebody from Tripulse as a release of the month because I didn't want to like establish this kind of string of it being people from Tripulse that we talk about. But Tola's EP is just that good. It, it just, it, it outshone shown everything that I listened to since the last tripod. And uh, it's just so good. It's got so much variety to it. It's got such a great pacing to every song. And the sound design is really cool. And yeah, I, I really love it. It's awesome. I also really love it. Just like, yeah, so did I. It was really, really, um, it has a really dark environment to it. Don't know. Mm -hmm. I started like referring to other releases as wow, this sounds like one taller. He's just like he has become a baseline. His style is so like unique. Yeah, mm -hmm. his style is so unique to him. <clears throat> it, anything else that sounds like it. It's, like, it's funny because he because he makes so many different genres. Yet he sort of has a style through whatever what he makes. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. I definitely agree that he has an overall like kind of sound that's just unique to him. I, what I kind of noticed more or less is that he's he's got this really cool way of combining what are what we would consider conventional stuff in EDM and dubstep and whatever else you want to point out. But he also like has this sound design composition, whatever you want to call it, that really speaks to me in a terms of uh, like creating soundscapes for like TV shows and video games and movies and stuff. And it just, it creates this really unique experience where it's like, yeah, I want to, I want to rage and like headbang and face desk to, to, to the drops. But at the same time, like I can see like images and stories unfolding inside some of the songs. Yeah, you really can. Especially and, uh, this EP. The CP, the CP has definitely got a more, a uh, dark Victorian kind of vibe to it, and I I dig it a lot. Uh, Midnight Cadenza, I believe. Is Cadenza song. and Midnight, Midnight Symphony, Symphony are different tracks. Okay, see, Cadenza is mm. insane though. Um, yeah, Midnight Symphony, uh, the long song. <laughs> that was a holy P. I mean, I mean, he could just release that one. He and be could gone. have. He could have split it up into multiple songs and had an album, but he didn't. It was like um, the same length as Kit's final song on his album. <laughs> ah, no, I got him by three seconds. SoundCloud says it's one. Are you? Are no, you it's Josh. I got that... by three seconds. You're right. I got him by one second. Oh, okay, I was gonna say, are you telling me that Josh and Wontola are tied? But okay, now I understand. <laughs> no. <laughs> 
this is the so pettiest. What you're telling me, <laughs> what you're telling me, is that now two people have exceeded Josh by mere seconds. Yes, seconds. Josh has eleven minutes fourteen seconds. Wantola has eleven minutes sixteen seconds, and I have eleven minutes seventeen seconds. Uh, Spotify says eleven seventeen for Wantola's song. Spotify, Spotify does weird rounding. It's wrong. <laughs> Um, also, a uh, thing I want to point out, well, I want to point out, I'm going to point out, is that uh, this was also a self-release, as far as I am aware. Uh, yes, indeed. Because usually, he usually has the Silent Running Scandal thing underneath his name on here, and it's not there. So, cool. Good for you, buddy. I, I really do think that a lot more artists should start just independently releasing their own music. I, I don't think it, labels are really worthwhile anymore unless it's standing silent running scandal in which case you know figure that out labels are worthwhile in very very specific circumstances labels are just good because a lot of time people follow labels that are like oh you're on monster cat okay like yeah that, that's gross mm, none of that that is get that out of here gross and kind of true i'm not saying it's a good idea i'm <laughs> saying that's what people do but yeah, I, I guess it i guess they get the followers you know it's true I mean, it's like it's like the other day that Gamer got that song, that bro, that song, bro step, yeah. whatever. Terrible. <laughs> oh, speaking of numbers, ah, a great song. I just noticed that "Born Cursed" on the EP on SoundCloud currently has one thousand three hundred and thirty-seven plays. How fitting. Le- That's cool. Heh. <laughs> is that is that a dying a dying meme? Do people not know Leap anymore? <laughs> no, I feel like I feel like I feel like that's Old like meme, a, but I get almost it. a generational joke. Yeah, it is. I guess, but I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna hold on to it. Boomer meme. Oh, me. It makes me it makes me uncomfortable. I, it makes me always think of uh, Did we watch Arby and the Chief? <laughs> Anybody ever watched that series? Yes. Yeah. What? That. Yeah, that's a good one. No. Yeah. I don't. I don't. I don't think I have. It's you like, should. It's, that's your it's homework. A series assignment. where somebody, yeah, took a little master chief and oh, RVB. Made, no, RB and the chief. RB and the chief. Yes, I'm gonna post the okay, link. Okay, so it. I didn't hear you wrong the first time. I thought you might have just I said RVB like super quickly. <laughs> yeah, like. <laughs> okay, no, I I've not I have not seen that. I'm gonna I'm gonna post the link to it. Okay, anyway, cool. Um, homework assignment for everyone who hasn't seen that. Go watch that. Watch the entire seasons. All of them. Worthwhile. Uh, while, while you're doing that, <laughs> let's uh, let's move on to some to some more music, unless we want to talk about Tola's EP some more. Yeah, I have I have a thing to say about that still, that I've been trying to say okay. and not saying. Could, you want to know a pepperoni secret? S- that this sure. EP really cemented for me? What is that? Wontola is actually quite possibly my biggest inspiration for music. For all the reasons you said. Okay. Well, Wontola releases regularly, so... I, yeah, really that's matter. also a reason. But he doesn't, I, by the way. <laughs> he, yeah, I was gonna say. He releases regularly when he plans for it, sure, but... It's definitely regular times, compared to me. He He's had times where he's had, like, just... Long hiatus, months to a year. Yeah, like I mean, also I'm not. I'm not, not entirely sure thing either. Yeah, I think I think he might also be Fosgrim as well. I don't I don't know, but you know, it's he possible. could also be the possibility. Fucking, the fucking, <laughs> but you see, I hate and love that he does that shit. It's, it's, the yeah. the thing is, this EP especially is very very good, and I like it a lot, and it. Yeah makes me feel things midnight symphony especially especially among that especially 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 is that still english it's my favorite track yeah it's all pretty good but i really so, like cadenza personally but you want to know i guess one thing my favorite part do, oh. about all this he made this amazing ep that's inspiring to me at least extremely and the man is still disappointed in him in his own skills 
Yeah, I, I'm, I'm a little with you on that one too. It's like he just constantly kind of puts himself down. It's every time he's amazing he something. how high his own standards are. Yeah, I wouldn't yeah, call I, it. It's hard being a perfectionist, I guess. The, Your the worst critic is I, yourself. It's yeah. true. That's very true. The one thing that I do want to say about the the EP that's not a positive is that a few of the transitional parts in some of the songs do feel weird. I don't want to say they're they're bad because they're not necessarily bad. It's just like they, I don't know, they're questionable at best. Yeah, I didn't feel any of that. Yeah, I mean, like it's it's just me as a listener. I also make weird stuff, so there's also that i don't it's just some of them feel just a little bit unpolished a little bit weird and but i mean like, that's literally the only bad thing that i can say about the ep like i've literally loved everything else about this he makes just really really cool music and he has um, his own art he, too doesn't he Does this he? one was a commission what mm. yeah but mm. almost everything he else he makes himself <clears throat> which is another uh, interesting selling point of his work ethic and standards. And does his own vocals when he does vocals. Yeah. No, Fossil Group does his vocals. Oh, that's true. Yeah, Fossil you're right. Do the different vocals. person. That's right. Mm. Sorry. Completely mm. different person. Probably lives in the EU. <laughs> um, Montola, EU edition. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's uh let's let's move on to some to some other music that came out, and boy was there a lot of music that came out in between last tripod and this one. This is um, why you had so much trouble picking. It a is release it's of a the big month. reason because there was first of all there's three fucking huge albums in my opinion that came out that I just I each of which I wanted to name the release of the month, and yeah, and then on top of that. Fucking Maddion's EP came, or sorry, EP uh, album came out yesterday. So did Alan good, Moore's. Yeah, Alan Waffle, Moore came out. Waffle yeah. would have skewered us if we didn't mention that album. That's why I said something about it. To be completely <laughs> honest with you, I'm not gonna talk about it until next tripod because it just I didn't have enough time to really like soak it in. So yeah, um, so I'm just gonna like lightning through the list of things that I that I have like listened to since the last tripod. And uh, so Fox Stevenson, Killjoy, his album, um, Sullivan King, Show Some Teeth, another album, uh, Monoguchi, USA, another album, um, Wooly, Nothing Left, a single that came out, uh, Griffin, Gravity, another album that came out, Glitch Mob and Zeke Beats, uh, Laser Vision, Glitch Mob and uh, L7, um, God, what was that? 1788L. Yeah, 1788L super cool uh song that i don't remember what it's called momentary vision something like that i don't know damn it uh, momentary Anyways. lapse momentary oh just like your memory fitting. right now how fucking fitting <laughs> <laughs> um eliminate the dead sea ep uh gravity the gunship remix of a bullet for my valentine song um unsettling imagery an ep by our very own ashlyn from ashes uh, Crash and Burn, uh, an Asora remix of, fa of Phase 1 and North Lane, and then the IDK Volume 1 EP by Quix. All of these were super cool. They're all fairly different uh, styles and, and genres and everything, and it's just mind-blowing that so much album came out, or so much uh, music came out between Last Tribal and This Tripod. Granted, there's a little bit more than a month between those two, but wow, lots of uh, quality stuff. I only, have, music. I only have two singles to mention. <laughs> you got all that, and I got two. I, tr I, I, I try to actively keep a list of things that I listen to like on a day-to-day -day basis. He speed ran. Not only and do I not do that, some of these. I also don't keep up with music a lot. <laughs> that's that's fair. But there's what does the singles get? Cold Signal by Park and Ego Death by Ikigai. I Both. didn't know that Park had a new song come out. It's very, very cool. Interesting. I'll have to look it up. Anybody else? Oops, sorry. Anybody else have some mm. music they want to talk to? Talk about? Talk to. Talk to the music. Make it grow. Yeah. Uh, um, there was the uh, Alan Moore album that came out yesterday. Really haven't had time to listen to it, but it's probably pretty good. 
I saw I saw a Twitter video of it and it creeped me out. So also there's a this is sort of a single, but there's PZL and he made a song called you know Flip of uh, Tyler Creator's Tabali. Insane song. I haven't heard that one either. I have heard that. I think you yes. like yeah. And then uh, Vale did a little compilation called like Pre Vale. It's got some pretty good stuff on it too. It was to fundraise somebody who like his dad broke his laptop or something. So it's pretty cool. Interesting. Mm-hmm. I, I forgot put out a I, new I, song I, 15 oh, days ago as well. Called Hotline. It's pretty good. You should go check it out. Hotline. Yeah, Hotline by Ivy Lab. Ivy Lab. Okay. Yeah. And uh, Saruda released a new uh, album, EP. It was a month yeah. ago he released it. Yeah, we covered that one last month, I think. <clears throat> yeah, we talked oh, about we? Fubar on the, on the last tripod, although yeah, we yeah. didn't really talk about it. We just kind of mentioned it. Yeah, I, I obviously missed that bit. No, it's... I mean... Oh, I actually have a third thing that I just remembered. What is that? We Are Magonia released Diabolus and Musica. It's a good name. It's a lot of letters. Yes, it is. <laughs> Very quality it, synth wave. Dark wave. A, dark synth. Whatever, uh, what have is you. Is it an album? It I, is a single. I catch that. It's a single. All that for a single. Yep. All right. It's a single from an album that is not out yet, but will be out soon. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Oh. Uh, it's just occurred to me that I forgot uh, an album that I was super excited about that just... I didn't put down on my list. Uh, she Music had an album come out. Uh, been a couple years since Dude had an album come out, but it's called Aspire, and it's you know that chip tune funk glitch kind of genre. Um, Electro is the is the name that they give it. Yeah, there's there Super was cool. some hype around that for a very short flash in the server. Mm, yeah. I still like it. I'm still listening to it. I just, I guess, There's I guess the so many of these things that get shared that I think, mm, yes, I should listen to that, and then I forget. This maybe, maybe I should start to. posting lists on, on the blog, about stuff like that. Maybe I should that start wouldn't doing that. help me. <laughs> but I know maybe that wouldn't help you. Yeah, we could go with maybe. like a little monthly release. Like, hey, here's the music we talked about, and put it in the YouTube description or something. I mean, I I already go through. The, the trouble of writing down like everything that I'm well most of the things that I listen to from tripod to tripod so it, it really wouldn't be too much of a stretch to just add a paragraph to that and then put it on uh, on the blog I don't know we'll see um, anybody that would be down anybody have anything to talk about else to talk about or should I talk about a a couple of the things off my list real quick uh, last I think there's signal signal changes name and released an EP called ego it's kind of cool Signal change Ooh. ego. Okay. No artist named Signal. He's now like I'm a I am a N U or something. But he changed his name. Oh really? I did not know this. Hmm. Okay. I had. Yeah, but it's over name. on Vision. Oh yeah, I know. Imanu. Imanu. I am a N U. Yeah. Is that the one? That's some good. That is the one. Yep. I seen it. I think we. Yeah, I think I seen that posted in music. That's the other thing is that I have a really bad habit of not clicking links and music. Kind of like what you were saying earlier, kid. Oh, huh, wow, that's interesting. And then never go back to it. <laughs> Dream mentor <laughs> from that is very good. I like it a lot. All right. Um, so, yeah, first of all, I want to give a shout out to Ashlyn. Uh, the Unsettling Imagery EP is so fucking cool. It's super weird. And uh, my favorite. I. I, I liked it a lot, especially the especially the opening title track. It's I don't know I don't know why it's it, it seems so unique to me, but it just it hits that level of of weird, funky, cool that like Rez and a few other artists hit, and I just it was cool, and it was a of a long shot different from the last thing that I listened to her, two of hers. That wasn't Canvas, which was like a hardstyle song. And I don't really like hardcore or hardstyle. So, yeah, super cool thing. Uh, definitely should check that out when you guys get a chance. Yeah, it, it was really, like you said, it was different, but like in a good way. Yeah. 
I really liked it. I liked it a lot. Um, Solomon King's album, uh, <laughs> both, both a disappointment and very cool. Uh, I wouldn't know. I, I can't listen to it. It makes my ears bleed because that's the mixing is so was... piercingly high. <laughs> that's exactly what I wrote down. <laughs> I that's that's actually something I was going to talk about. Dude, we've re- we've reached a point in in the loudness war where people are kind of mixing things in a way that's almost bad for the ears actually no it's not even loud it, it is bad it's nothing to do with the loudness war it's just like there's a whole layer of white noise and it's the loudest thing in the mix um, it's hmm. just really high and sharp and bad okay i may maybe maybe it just doesn't maybe it just doesn't hit me the same way that it hits you then but i know that is true for a fact i do i do kind of share this issue one of my favorite Quotes is uh, 2019, the year of this tune artistically blow out my speaker. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it is my artistic decision to ruin the music. <laughs> oh, remember when noise was a thing and hard noise? I Yet, yeah, I do that. <laughs> That's what I do. And it doesn't sound like this. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. That's that's really what I wanted to kind of say is that you know Sullivan King's album, it was good. Like there there are some really cool songs in there. It's hard to listen to sometimes because of you know the things that we've mentioned. Also, I don't I don't love this trend of releasing six singles off your ten track album. I don't. Very annoying. Stop, please. Yeah, this really upset me with uh, G. Jones because he did his whole ineffable truth thing, and it was really good. But like all the good songs he released as singles, then the album came out, and I was like, oh, these are all just chill. What the heck? Yeah, I was just like yeah. an album is an experience from start to finish, and <clears throat> by releasing singles, it kind of takes away from that. Makes me show some teeth in all the wrong ways. <laughs> this guy. I had to get that in there. You can't blame me. You did. You did. You got it in there. Uh, just, just real quick, I also want to talk about uh, Anamanaguchi. Oh, man. Did not expect anything from those guys, like, ever again, to be honest with you. And it's been a minute. This uh, this was different. I, I wasn't as enchanted by it as some other people were. And it... It, it kind of brings together their old style, their old chip y kind of style, and it makes them more of an indie rock kind of mix to it, and it's cool, I Isn't guess. Is that what I they just... always were? A hybrid of chip tune and rock? Yeah, but they were they were they were more fun, I guess, before <laughs> before. God, what a terrible <laughs> way of, of explaining that. <laughs> I know, it's making the new album sound bad or something, new music. It, it's 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 not a bad album. I'm gonna say that right now. It's not a bad album. I just I wasn't as into it as I thought. Well, it's I'd not be. as fun. So <laughs> I've still only heard one single from it, it and just, that single was amazing. I don't know. Go go listen to it, guys. Form your own opinion of it. I just I think it's okay. Is all. Not everything is for everyone, and that is okay. That is true. It all right. All right, uh, since we've, I guess we've kind of like run through the, the gamut of everything, let's move on to uh, video games. Let's talk about some video games, and I'm going to save the best for last, of course. We all know what I'm talking about. Todd! <laughs> like I said, we'll save the best for last. <laughs> uh, has anybody been playing anything lately? You know what I played today? I'm finally awake. <laughs> Need for speed. Apart from that, Need for Speed. I have been playing mm. all the Black Box Need for Speed games for a while. All of them. Gross. You s- you disgusting. stop that. <laughs> Hold your tongue, <laughs> sir. <laughs> Only so one of these Need games is good. <laughs> <laughs> no, but but talking about Need for Speed, I have been playing uh, Heat, which, which I think came out before no it was this tripod oh wait so, that's yeah, out? I played yeah just Heat. a couple days ago yeah it's pretty pretty okay I've, that's why i've been playing the black box games so that i can play the black box games the ones that everybody loves and thinks is the best ever and just wants remakes of so that i can then play heat with those fresh on my mind and compare <laughs> that's the plan 
I'm interested. Wait a second. That's out. I thought that was out next year. No. No. It's out now. Oh. I mean, not like I play racing games anyways, but <laughs> I just... Yeah. Wow. Okay. Neither do I, but... Discriminating yeah. against racing games. How I, ooh, dare you? You're you're in for a, a treat when it comes to video games with me, boy. Anyways. <laughs> but apart from uh, the black box need for speed games, I played a game today. What was it? It was Beat Saber. Really? I played Beat Ooh, Saber, what? and Did I survived. Die? Can you believe it? I mean, yeah, I guess you're here now, so yeah. Wild. <laughs> Nobody expected this. I didn't expect that for at, at all. No. No, sir. I, was it was I it did fun? surprisingly well, and yeah, it was fun. Very difficult. Cool. I like it a lot. What, what but, uh, difficulty did you play on? Expert. Really? In one hand mode. Oh, okay. Yeah. Expert in that one hand cool. mode is a lot easier than <laughs> two hand mode for some reason. <laughs> I'd see this uh, one like map because I just like the song and it was like the Boonshin remix of The Wall and that thing's apparently pretty good. And oh, yeah. That one the where the whole thing is just a laser show. Epilepsy. <laughs> and it's I want to play that, but I'm not good enough. But you know what? It means that I have played Beat Saber and survived. It means you make your album now? that I can make my own levels and test them myself. Oh, I wow. will make my album in Beat Saber, not Wallace. Man's too slow. Stuck in VR chat all day. Yeah, he just plays fucking VR chat. He gets home and he just sits in his computer, at his computer, and talks to people. In VR. What a weirdo, huh? What? As I say to my, my four compatriots on a podcast. <laughs> virtual space. Yeah, what a weirdo. <laughs> That's really weird. Cannot agree more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, Kit, you played another game recently. I did? Yeah. Uh, Trigger made a intro video for it. Uh, it's an RPG. Indivisible, yes. Indivisible, yeah, that one. I didn't remember the name of it, that's what I was trying to... Yeah, I don't remember that. the game either, and that's a problem, because I was looking forward to that game so much, and it's not bad, it's just not great. It doesn't hold my attention. I've Now, that's... you've just reminded me that I have not yet completed the game, and I just haven't gone back to it, because I haven't felt the urge to complete the game. Unfortunate. It's got a lot of problems. Ooh. Very small problems. I'm not going to well, get into I mean, it because I could talk about them for an hour. That was a really small development team, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So the only thing they made before this, as far as I know, is Skullgirls, and it really shows. Boy, Skullgirls would had a really long development cycle too. So. Yep. Uh. So you how ever, about anybody else? You ever you wanted to play video games? An RPG where you need. Frame perfect button inputs. No, I didn't. Well, that sounds real fun. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um. Yeah. So, has anybody else been playing any other games? Anything interesting? I've been playing a little bit of Hearthstone because they shouted a new game mode that's basically just auto chess, but it's pretty cool. That's cool. I I'm gonna be honest. I'm not gonna talk about Hearthstone. Just okay, actually, one thing about that, though. The game director who left, Ben Brode, he just made a rap song about grilled cheese. Everybody check it out. It's really good. What? <laughs> what? Excuse me, <laughs> what a, sir. What? <laughs> what a departure. Okay. Oh, man. Uh, I'm going to need a link to that later. That was <laughs> totally off the wall. I, I was drinking <laughs> when you said that. I'm lucky to be alive. <laughs> <laughs> oh man okay um how about i talk for a second about stuff yep there's that video right there um, oh jeez <laughs> what a legend oh man hey fucking halo finally getting some release date shit going and mm. completely breaking the way that steam works in the process yep, yep. all the so, all the uh, games are dlcs with a price but you can only get them if you, you can like play them rather if you buy the bundle that includes all of them. So there's no point. So what? 
you're supposed to be able to buy them individually and they just didn't do it correctly and I don't know how they did this and got it all the way through Steam's process because Steam made a big deal out of this collaboration and I don't know how they got this far into Steam's just approval process on getting this game up there but they managed to put the game up as a bundle or a base game and then list all the individual games that are included as DLC and but they wanted you to be able to play single games out of all the games it just makes no sense great job good fucking job great job you, um, you question how they got through Steam's process except Steam's process is entirely automated and they give no direction I don't care that Steam was working with them. <laughs> hey, like, this looks like hey, a game. We yes. want this on our service. We want to help you get it on our service. You don't just say, here's the tool to get it on here, and then leave after doing all that work. I would put. Also, how do you send out fitting. an email saying that you're going to have this game on your service? That, hey, this, hard, this highly anticipated game along with another game that has not been remastered how are they going to send an email about that and then not understand what happened I would it's put like there's about literally no fat checking on the concept that Microsoft actually just used Steam Direct like everyone else <laughs> how how Gavin how do you not have the what is probably the most anticipated game of the year on coming to your service, how do you not have a team of people taking care of that? How? Do you have literal robots working at your company? No, that's giving them too much credit. Everybody's, I, <laughs> everybody's too busy wheeling their desks around instead of actually working. <laughs> <laughs> just jumping into piles of money over there, not mm. doing shit. I, I just, also quite like how the fact for the the uh, system requirements for Halo Three is minimum processor Pentium Three end. That's it. <laughs> That's all you need. You don't need a computer. You just need a Pentium Three. You're good. Good job. It would have been. It would have been funny. I I would actually love to see this one day if like the requirements underneath the game were like the controller that you needed, like a keyboard and mouse. <laughs> <laughs> or a fucking a mm -hmm. VR headset, literally nothing else, just the just the tools that you need to be able to physically play the game. I would love that. Minimum requirements. Two button mouse, twelve key keyboard. At least twelve. <laughs> more than twelve. If yeah, you have a, be... more than twelve keys, that's great, but you only need twelve. That's great. Also, none that. of the other games have any requirements. It's only Halo three that has Pentium three written on it. How? Yeah. How did you get this far? I don't. God. What's I just... Steam How? is what? a quality product managed by a company that is responsible and knows what they're doing. I mean, also, we, why does Halo reach six ninety nine? Yeah, that was a questionable choice too. Making Reach. No, wait, Reach. Yeah, Halo oh, Reach is six ninety nine. <laughs> ODST and Halo Four, Halo Three, Halo Two Anniversary, and Halo Combat Evolved are all thirty quid. But Halo Reach, nah, it's the six ninety nine one. Oh, quit. Okay, currencies. Gotcha. Yes, it's, it's not dollars. It's still ten dollars here. Okay. okay. I thought it went down to six ninety nine, and I was like, okay. Yeah, six ninety nine Great British pounds. So the the way that it was. Uh, I, the way that the originally intended for it to work was that each game was going to be ten dollars, uh, USD, hmm. and ODST was going to be like five. Yeah. I don't know why, but f yeah. Yeah. yeah, like whatever. Hey, sure. I've been playing a lot of Destiny two lately. Do we want to talk about that? No. Mm, nope. <laughs> All right, on to the next one. It's fun. It feels like Halo. Okay, we're done with that one. <laughs> <laughs> um. So, god damn it! I guess, I guess we're gonna talk about it. Um. So, for a, a year, nearly a year, uh, in tripod, 
I have talked about Fallout 76 almost every single time. God. And it has not ended. So. Todd, let's uh <laughs> put down the game uh -oh. ball <laughs> and program your game. <laughs> let's talk about. Do you reckon Todd Howard just Fallout. wakes up in the morning and there's like Jewib from Morrowind standing there and he's like, "Ah, you're finally awake." <laughs> <laughs> no, Todd, Todd just wakes Not up. Not even the storm could wake you. Todd wakes up and. An NPC is next to him and says, Ah, you're finally awake. And then he rises out of bed and says, It just works. And he pulls out an apple and he goes, Bah! Bro! <laughs> <laughs> and then he ragdolls on the floor. I refuse to accept any other headcanon. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> Glow linked me this wonderful article earlier about it's everything amazing. that's been wrong about, ha about Halo, about Fallout 76 since it was first announced, basically. You'll smack it in text of voice. Boom. And there's too many things for me to go over, so I just want to go over what's happened since uh, June. Yeah, did did uh, we talk about <laughs> the helmets? No, we haven't. We haven't yet. I'm gonna go over what's <laughs> oh, happened boy. Ooh, goody. since June. <laughs> not even, not even what's happened recently since June. So, canvas bags that were supposed to come with with the game. It turned out to be nylon. Yeah, cool shit. Uh, they had a thing uh, for their nuclear uh, winter. Uh, so within a few weeks, people were basically breaking the game, as per usual, using using a unique perk granted granted during this event. So that was cool. Uh, July sixteenth, <laughs> the eleventh big ass update for this game immediately broke just stuff for people. People were dying instantly from just walking into places. Uh, people had pieces of their power armor equipment. Some of the cosmetics that were purchased with real money no longer worked. Nice. <laughs> uh, in the same month, Bethesda had the gall to release a cosmetic pack that cost $22. Uh, not Sorry, not dollars. Uh, European dollar ruse. Uh, yeah. In August, they had their first big raid, which just didn't work for some people. People would literally get trapped in their power armor and not be able to move. And then, the legendary gun that you're supposed to get from finishing this raid, some people didn't get that. Some people just got a fucking useless trash tier power drill. Drill. Literal <laughs> junk item. So, and then, previously, recently, they announced this kind of battle royale style whatever thing that they added to the game you're like hey you can do this and it's gonna you know be fun and you know make multiplayer fun for you guys and all this whatnot stuff and uh put a video game in it just didn't work yeah they put a new video game inside their beta no they just put and a video game in it there wasn't one but now there is yeah and that was that was interesting and it yeah Anyways, then the helmets happened, and boy, oh Sued. boy, <laughs> I my, did not think my you favorite could do thing this. about this helmet thing is one of the people that I follow on Twitter for a long time said a long time ago the only way that Bethesda could possibly do anything worse than they already have is if they physically poisoned their customers, and they did. <laughs> And they did it. And then the helmets. <laughs> <laughs> they had to yeah, recall they... the helmets for toxic mold that physically poisoned the customers. Way to go. <laughs> I... Small indie you... company. <laughs> it's Bethesda, what did you I just want to poison all their say... apples and all their helmets. I just want to say real quick that I pre-ordered... <laughs> Then I pre-ordered the fucking limited edition, legendary edition Doom, which also comes with a helmet. So, uh, <laughs> guys, I'm a careful. little bit worried. <laughs> Sanitize it's, that right quick. Uh, it's going to go in some... You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make a, gla a, a plastic glass, plexiglass container, and I'm going to fill it to the brim with isopropyl alcohol, and I'm just going to leave it in there <laughs> forever and ever. <laughs> 
Make sure you get your like Faraday meter out as well. Make sure it's not radioactive. <laughs> if if was that, mm, I shouldn't say this. No, because if I said that and it came true, I would never be able to live with myself. So I'm not gonna say what I was gonna say. I'm um, gonna have to yeah, say it somehow. So, I was gonna say if says this somehow manages to find a radioactive material and put it into something they deliver and then radioactively poison me they they have to go (laughs) they have to go you gotta admit that it'd be pretty on brand it not for doom (laughs) that's true they would have to send me to hell which just i'm already going but i mean you know just ship the doom pre-orders with actual blood stains on them from an unknown source from the from their factory workers <laughs> <laughs> oh god um yeah so that happened but guess what it, it still hasn't ended they've still managed to make things even worse for their players because recently they announced that their npc update which was going to add like a whole bunch of content quests and all kinds of you know just expansion to the the game allegedly allegedly that uh they are going to delay it until 2020 and guess what i still love the uh the like quote that comes with it we continue to reevaluate and change our processes to make sure the work we're doing hits our quality bar and yours so i'm not sure you actually have a quality bar it's on the floor (laughs) yeah it doesn't exist it's hitting the quality bar for drinks but i but i want to (laughs) say that a week a week after they announced that, <laughs> they announced that they're going to have a, su- a subscription service for their game so that you can have your own private server with unlimited storage of scraps, which I don't think anybody really saved or wanted to save anyways. Um, a fast travel tent that you can place anywhere, which is actually kind of useful to the game. Uh, some cosmetic stuff and some in-game currency. 100 in-game pounds currency. per year. 100 pounds per mm-hmm. year. And that's about $120 a year in here in the States. And if you pay take. monthly, that's like a 50% increase. Yeah, it's it's like 15 or something like that. It's it's absurd. Uh, the, Mar- <clears throat> the Mario Kart mobile game is a more valuable subscription than this. Yeah, which is absurd. If you do a year subscription, they send you a small nuclear reactor. <laughs> Well, shit, I've always wanted to own my own nuclear reactor. <laughs> like, I don't even own this game, and I'll yourself. pay for that. Like, <laughs> So, yeah, um, they announced that, just like as a big middle finger to everybody. And there are people that still bought into this. There are people that still love this game, that still bought into this, this service. And guess what fucking happened? And because of those horrifically deluded people... We know about the problems. Oh my god, there were problems with their service. Their premium service that cost more than the base game cost. They... <laughs> this unlimited scrap box that you're supposed to get with your server, it deletes your scrap. Dun, dun, um, the dun, servers, dun. they're not quite private. Anybody in your friends list who sees it can join your your Just don't have friends. It's just no problem. It's not, not only that, but also sometimes... In your so-called private server, you'll find boxes and corpses that are already looted. And yeah, such. so basically they're recycling world seeds that already existed, which I don't. How? How, how can you not? How generate... can you be this bad? No, no. Why are you saving these worlds? What? <laughs> what is the purpose of having the save data from these worlds? I don't. But remember, it hits their quality bar. It hit their quality bar, apparently. Ah, but the NPC? Nope, it sure didn't. So speaking of dumpster <laughs> fires, there's the uh, there's the new Pokemon game <laughs> coming out. Hey, guess what? I'm not done yet. There's still one more thing that they've done, or that that's going on. And uh, I didn't know about it. Th- I didn't really understand anything about this until uh, I saw this link. But uh, basically, Bethesda and their company, or sorry, the company that's above them, Zenimax, um, have been fighting with Australia about giving refunds out to people who wanted a refund for the game from back in June, or sorry, back before June. 
Yeah, they've been they've been fighting that for a long time. The Australian court of uh, at the end of last month said, "You know what? Pay it. Give them their refund." <laughs> I also want to give a huge shout out to Australia real fast because I also found out recently that they are the reason that um, we have the refund policy that we have on Steam. Australia so. has some wins with video games and some losses, but we won't talk about those. Yeah. So, um, Pokemon, actually, not as much a dumpster fire as everybody's saying. It's almost like it's a Nintendo game, so the game is fun yeah i mean like yes there are there are questionable things and i do think i i i fully stand behind the hashtag that i put in gaming a few days ago and it's masuda retire because honestly he's starting to get on par with todd in terms of just fucking a company into this impossible situation and pokemon hasn't fallen teeth. as far fallen as far as fallout has in terms of late game quality but boy are they on par with they did press. manage to lie they they've oof, yeah they they lied pretty bad they've i don't appreciate a lot this, of lies. this whole model thing new animations there are new animations better animations on the new pokemon they didn't lie but they there are indeed new animations for the new pokemon everything else and but the mm-hmm. the model thing is interesting. They I don't it really it really begs the question as to what happened with all that stuff because they've clearly imported everything and the amount of difference between the models and and the amount of polygons and quotations the amount of polygons in these things is so consistent that it's hard to deny that they're not the same models. So, uh, yeah, it, not as bad as a dumpster fire, but a pretty bad dumpster fire. It's a fun game, though. I like it. Mistakes upon mistakes upon mistakes. It's the Paper Mario stick, sticker star of Pokemon. Paper Mario sticker star. Whew. Okay. Go in there, huh? Yep, that's where I'm going. Okay. Hey, uh, Devil May Cry has a mod that allows multiplayer that's cool what i linked it to you excuse me i pinged you specifically about this i missed it i'm gonna find this right now it's there's so there's (laughs) so there's this really cool thing um i mean it's literally what what i said just now it's multiplayer for Devil, devil may cry 5 it works super well according to all the reviews that i've read and basically, it allows up to three people to play the game at the same time as Dante Nero and of uh, whatever the other guy's name is. V. Valentine. V. Just V. Valentine. Valentine. Imagine <laughs> Valentine. What's his name now? V. Um. Yeah. And it's it's oh my god, it's so good. I like it. It's it. I I I want to play it with people. Anyways. Um. Anything else you guys want to talk about? Any games you've been playing? Any games you're excited to come out? Uh, Postal Force coming out at some point. Mm, the... Postal Force coming out. <laughs> uh, yeah. So I know somebody who's uh, actually got some music in that, which is pretty cool. Oh, really? Uh, Mountain Blade Bannerlord. Oh, boy, I'm excited. It's a good the, one. Uh, yeah, I think it's February. They're doing a open beta release, which I'm big hype for. Oh, that's awesome. And... Uh, yeah, I got a, uh Yeah, I got Overwatch into Switch and then like the so, second I did, Blizzard is like, Oh yeah, Overwatch two. <laughs> it's just a paid update. Yeah, I s Yeah. I very questionable. I still don't understand why they need Overwatch two. Money? I, I mean like At least it's not like a flat out new game where they're gonna cut like all the future updates to, to the old yeah. Overwatch and only have it in two, but like you know, whatever. It just seems kind of weird. A questionable decision. Like, are all the characters going to have the same abilities and stuff, or like? I don't know. Yeah, it's it's odd to say the least. But they got a campaign coming, so that's kind of cool, I guess. Hmm. 
I'm oh, always in so. support of campaigns in games. Copion. Press F to pay respects. Except that one. <laughs> uh, so, uh, you've actually reminded me. Age of Empires 4 got a trailer. Not a what? not a gameplay trailer, but a, like a teaser trailer. So I want it very for that. It's just it's just Age of Empires two, super definitive Turbo Edition. <laughs> so don't don't be too too excited. Aww. Super Wait, Turbo definitive. Do, like it's it's so it it is it is Age of Empires four. Like I'm just memeing on Bec- it. But it, it's like they did the it's Age the of same- Empires two, Age of Empires definit two definitive edition. Mm-hmm. I and know, then, but they're they're still in the same the same time frame. They yeah. didn't they didn't move eras at all, so it's it's basically a remake of the same game. Is what I'm. I still getting. have that on disc. I still have Age of Empires two on disc. Good downstairs. lord! I mean, <laughs> yeah, that's kind of the same way Civ works. No, but Age of Empires is supposed to move through different ages. One but went th- it's, was, but one it's era, the age two was a different of era. empires. Mm. <laughs> also, like most of the empires that are in it are from all different times, anyway. So yeah, that's true. But also, um, I think today or maybe yesterday, Path of Exile Two announcement slash trailer was released. I haven't watched it yet. I just saw it pop up on my newsfeed somewhere. Yeah, so I'm... that's kind of cool. That's pretty cool looking because apparently it's gonna have the going to give players the ability to design boss fights themselves in it. Oh. And also... I had not heard that. It is not a separate game. It's just a massive update for Path of Exile that is a whole other game in the game, apparently. Oh. So it's an expansion. I could be wrong, but I don't think I'm wrong. Oh, so it's Overwatch 2. (laughs) Yeah. That's what it sounds like to me. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. Interesting. Um, final thing in my list of things to talk about: uh, Xbox Game Pass doing cool things. Uh, first of all, if you're a Nitro member on Discord, you just got three months of Xbox Game Pass, so you know you can play The Outer Worlds and eventually. If you have an Xbox, you'll be able to play uh, all of Kingdom Hearts and all of Final Fantasy. Yeah, Game Pass is pretty solid. I'm very happy it exists. Pretty good. Overpowered. I little confused by it, to be totally honest with you. I don't, I don't understand where how Xbox is making money from it right now. I think Microsoft is making from it. I think Microsoft money. just took a good hard look at the Xbox wing and realized nobody wants this. What do we do? (laughs) Decided to stop caring entirely about the hardware and just make a really, really good value proposition for the software. Yeah. And I I will say that on on Newegg, they they released their Black Friday ad, by the way. It's not great. But I did see that the Xbox One S, the all-digital edition, which means that there's no disk drive in it, um, is going to be a 150 for Black Friday. So you know, yeah, if you're looking for <laughs> just if you're looking for a out. stream box. If you're looking for a stream box, there you go. It's not a Blu-ray player like you know I would normally recommend the Xbox for, but I mean, it'll play Netflix, it'll play Hulu, it'll play whatever other streaming service is on your on there, and then you can get Game Pass and you can play all these games. You know, I mean, it's not a not a bad deal. Only thing is that you gotta pay. You gotta double up and pay for the pass and live. But uh, yeah. Well, so. you only need live if you want to play mm-hmm. online, like a plebeian. Well, I mean, what's the point of getting some of those games if you don't have live? You play the ones that don't require. It. Okay, but what about the single Xbox player live sixty remasters? What do you mean? Well, I mean, you only get the you only get the the remasters for Xbox One. Sorry, not the remasters. The el- the em- the emulated versions of 360 games through uh, Xbox Live. No, you don't. Do you get them through Game Pass now? You you just get them. They exist. Far as I know, the Xbox the Live 
you'll get a free one every so often, but they're just products that you buy. Yeah, you get you mm. get them for free every month. Occasionally. Oh, okay. You don't get all the past yeah. ones. You only get the ones while you're subscribed. I hmm okay, weird. Maybe yes. Maybe Xbox there's, maybe is there's weird. something going on with my uh with my dad's Xbox. Then. I don't know. Anyways, um, that's all I have to talk about games and music and try. Oh, shit. <laughs> try Palooza. Yay. Boy, I I really messed that one up. Hey, Tripalooza is going to be happening uh, in December. This is just going to be a real quick ad- Whoops. This is just going to be a real quick dive. advertisement for that. Um, Tripalooza is going to be coming back this year in December. Uh, basically the same kind of time frame. It's going to be the first weekend after uh, Christmas, which means that it's going to be the 29th, 30th. Oh, no. Sorry, that's in November. It's going to be the 27th through probably till the 30th. We'll see how long it actually lasts. Uh, we're going to split the stream up in, over the course of a couple days instead of doing a 24-hour stream. Uh, just because the 24-hour stream taught me that I can't actually do a 24-hour stream. And it's not a good idea to try that anyways. Very, very bad. I'm Kit, good. Kit, Kit died halfway through. Kit so. died hard I died through that. <laughs> died real hard in the last stream, and I'd die even harder this time. <laughs> yep. And, um... Yeah, so we're going to set up each each night's going to have like a different kind of theme. Maybe we'll do like games on uh, tabletop simulator one night or maybe an actual tabletop night. Who knows? Um, another Ooh. night, we're probably probably going to do a Civ night. Just try really, really hard to finish a single game of Civ. It seems like yeah, we get to do the it at industrial like area. the end of this time. <laughs> yeah. Well, Cause wasn't that the last thing we did and everybody was like, <sighs> yeah. That was that was a poor decision. <laughs> that was awful. Not a not a good thing. Um, so yeah, learning experiences. We're, we're gonna try. We're mm. gonna try very hard to do a beginning to end Civ game. And if we have to mulligan it and like we get tired of it halfway through, we can quit and then we'll just put ourselves in a new game at the end of time and fight each other to the death. And that will be the end of that. And we'll never do it again. And um, I don't know what the other themes are going to be yet, but we'll we'll figure it out around that time. Uh, we're are gonna we going to do like a sorry? Are we going to do like a thing where people um, like Babs had his stream last year? And no, I'm gonna I'm gonna host we... I'm gonna host every night. And uh, okay, yeah, we'll we'll have that planned ahead of time, and we'll post about it. Cool. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll host everything. Like I'll, I'll host it. Like I host tripod. Like I'll, I'll try to ring lead it. And then like, if it's like somebody's project, like Danny, like really likes running tabletop simulator. So I'll let mm. him take over if it's tabletop simulator. But for the most part, I'm going to run the stream and all that stuff. Sounds good. So, um, so we're also going to do giveaways this year. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to have a system set up ahead of time and that way we can just do a drawing system as the stream goes and it'll select you guys from a list that way you don't have to be active in the chat or in the server or whatever to be Yay, able to activity. you can just get prizes you know basically however you'd like um still need to think about what exactly that system will be but it will be there well it's i mean it's just going to be a, a simple lottery system we'll let people pick a number for themselves and then we'll have a have a random number selector. I think that'll be probably the easiest way to do that. Yeah, that'd be the easiest, but not the best. I'm gonna put a think into it. Don't worry okay. about it. Put a think into it. Also, I've got a few uh, prizes that I'm you know, gonna talk about real quick. Um, I'm gonna give away a couple copies of Stardew Valley, because I believe that Stardew Valley is a very worthwhile game. Uh, I'm gonna give away a year of Nitro of the the good one, not classic, and then I'm going to give away a canvas shirt. Yeah, so, yeah. Be on the lookout for that stuff. It's gonna be cool. And uh, yeah, I think that's about all I have to say about that. There's some very solid games in the list to give away this time as well. I do have a lot of the. Uh, we have the same games basically, Kit. But there's there's a lot of good ones. 
Yeah. Kingdom Come Deliverance. Big wicked. Kingdom Come Deliverance is in there, so that'll be cool. Ooh. Spyro and Crash Bandicoot. And yeah, for both of us, so we have two copies of those. <laughs> two of each. <laughs> so, very, very good games to give away this year. Um, oh, Stardew Valley update on the 26th. Who boy. It's going to be good. So, good old Concerned Ape. What a legend. Good old Concerned Ape. Also, he broke it off from Chucklefish, so now he's completely independent again. What a legend. Legendary. It's good. All right, guys, I think that actually concludes Tripod this time around. Does anybody want to talk about anything else before we go? I don't think. No. It's All right, over. guys. Thank you for tuning in. Oh, sorry, Kit. What? It's over. Oh, okay. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. <laughs> <laughs> we can never get a good intro or outro, but uh, I appreciate everybody for listening in, and uh, we'll see you next month. Quick, everybody clap. Yay! Yeah. I was slapping my chest. <laughs>